Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's genuinely good to have you. Today I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about an issue I brought up about two videos ago. And that is the absolute BS thing that SC does with their black coated knives. Now before I really get in depth on this, just like the Surefire fanboys didn't realize I was one of them and still am, guess what guys, I am a huge SE Knives fanboy. Still am. So for all the haters out there who are really going to dislike what I'm about to demonstrate in this video. Uh, yeah, I'm one of you. So, yeah. Okay, let's get started. Here's the problem with their black coated blades. Now, unlike their other color coated blades, what SC does is in order to show their logo, they will coat their blade with a black coating and then literally gouge out the logo out of the coating. They will remove the coating in order to show their logo. Now, I have an example here. This is the SC Knives tertiary model. Mm -hmm. Now this is a modern day push blade, so this is not going to be used for your average field work. And I believe this is the only SE Knives model made that comes with just a black coated blade. You can't get a different colored coated blade. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's a gorgeous black coating, bit of traction on the coating, not too bad. Yep, and every single silver part you see is where the coating was gouged out or removed in order to, yeah, in order to put the logo, a bunch of words, and a couple of other things. Now on the tertiary, it's not too bad because you don't have the huge obnoxious SC Knives logo, which is a lot worse. But every part where you see silver, that's the bare 1095 blade, high carbon steel. So if this gets wet, this can easily rust where all of the coating was removed. So because of this absolute BS that SE continues to do for some bizarre reason, I've stopped buying black coated knives from SE. Here's my SC3 with custom Ranger Green G10 handle scales. There you go. Nice coated blade in tan. There's the SC logo in black. That's right. This is a coating and the black lettering is a coating as well. So this is not going to develop rust on the logo or anywhere else. And it's not just their tan models. Here is an SC Izula. Gray blade, black coating. Mm -hmm. Just ignore that little rub mark. That's from the uh, black sheath, no big deal. But as you can see, nice textured coating 
and black. Black lettering, black spider, that's also a coating. This is not going to rust inside the lettering. This is not going to rust inside the lettering or inside the logo. Mm-hmm. Guess what? If this got wet and wasn't cleaned off properly with a light coating of oil placed on it, this could easily develop rust everywhere you see the bare blade exposed. All that lettering, even the little, what is that? Ant, spider? I think it's an ant. Anyway, yeah. Yep. And imagine this SE3 with a black coated blade and this entire logo gouged out of the finish to basically, yeah, create the logo. I don't know why SC insists on this type of BS. I really don't. And yeah, I guess I am calling them out on it. But if you like SC knives like I do, don't buy their black coated blades. Get the tan coated one with black lettering or gray with black lettering. Okay guys, that's it for today. No clue why SE does this nonsense. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Please stay safe.